Well, good morning. This is Patrick Michael sitting in for Paul Slatkis at Good News Radio. Today we have two gentlemen from Procter & Gamble, Dr. Greg Allgood and Daniel Hill. And there is a story going around that there's going to be some climbing going on for Pure Water. Gentlemen, welcome to our program. Hi, thank, thank you. you. So who's going to be up first? Who's going to tell us who's going to make the big climb to Kilimanjaro? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, this is Dr. Greg Allgood. I'm climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, and it's an effort to raise awareness of the global water crisis called Summit on the Summit Kilimanjaro. And a lot of uh, stars are joining us. Probably the best known is Jessica Beal uh, and also Isabel Lucas, who was recently on Transformers 2, a number of other celebrities and musicians, all to raise aware- awareness of the global water crisis and practical ways to address the problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, we believe that people everywhere deserve safe drinking water. Here in the U.S., there's also calls for thinking about your water supply. And Dan... Hill with Procter & Gamble can tell us more about that. Yeah, Dan, tell us about that. Sure. Um, in addition to the the worldwide water quality issues, um, even even here in the United States, Americans have legitimate reasons to question the, the quality and cleanliness of their tap water. One, one thing we don't think about very often is the water infrastructure, the mm-hmm. long journey that water takes from the treatment center to our homes. Mm-hmm. In fact, in many U.S. cities, we're still relying on water pipes that were installed over 100 years ago. So it's that decaying infrastructure that, that, that can cause some, some level of contaminants like lead, uh, microbial cysts, or byproducts from chlorine to, to occasionally be in our tap water. Mm-hmm. Not to mention agricultural pollutants, heavy metals, sediment, even pharmaceuticals. So how does Procter & Gamble fit into this whole idea? Well, Procter & Gamble has the Pure brand, so uh, people who are concerned uh, here in the U.S. can purchase a pure water filtration system, our faucet mounts and, and filters reduce many unwanted contaminants like mm-hmm. lead, chlorine, and others, mm-hmm. um, and, and give, provide clean, taste, great tasting water right from your tap, and give consumers a peace of mind that they're ultimately looking for. Mm-hmm. And with, with Pure, when you purchase one of these water filtration systems, we're going to donate 10 liters of clean drinking water for someone in need in the developing country. Now, you're talking about uh, drinking water, and I think everybody would agree that uh, that's the part there. If it, people have bad water, that's where they notice it first. But what about uh, exposure to your skin and washing your hair and things like that? Uh, certainly, um, th- there, there is some literature to the effect of, of aesthetic effects of, of chlorine and, and other things on, on your skin and hair. But uh, it, where, where Pure is really focusing efforts is on ingestion of, of drinking water. Well, I think I saw a report somewhere um, recently about the cities with the best drinking water. I'm almost positive I just saw that, right? Uh, you, have you folks participated in any research in uh, the United States so people can understand this? We, we, we continually monitor water quality across the, the globe as well as the United States, and, um, and, and certainly there, there is good water, there is not so good water, and, and, it, and it, it changes. There's a, there's a wide variety of, of a, a wide spectrum of what you might find. So and even when it leaves the water treatment plant, of mm-hmm. course, it, it may be, it's usually uh, perfectly fine there, but by the time it gets into your home and out of your faucet, that's when it may be contaminated with things like lead. Right. So that's why it's important to filter your water. Now, take us back to Kilimanjaro and the stars. How is that going to communicate the, the urgency of this issue to uh, people, say, uh, are getting ready for Christmas? Well, we're really trying to raise awareness amongst young people of the global water crisis. We know that most people do not know that more children die from diarrhea than from HIV, AIDS, and malaria combined. And it's because of the unsafe drinking water. Yet there are practical solutions so those deaths don't have to occur. At Pure, we developed a little packet that takes even heavily contaminated water and makes it clear and purified so that it can reduce these diarrheal illness and death. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to do. I'll host the climbers uh, in a place where we're providing Pure in Tanzania, and then we'll take seven days to hike this big mountain and we'll be using digital media to talk to people about the climb, to build awareness, and hopefully to inspire some action. Yeah, I was looking at your uh, at your profile here. I see that you have a Twitter account. Are you going to be using that? Yep. Uh, Dr. Greg Allgood uh, is my Twitter account, and I've been Twittering since we announced the climb. Mm-hmm. Um, and whenever I go into the developing world, I spend about a third of my time in, in Africa other places where there's a critical need for safe drinking water. So that people can uh, can uh, check me out at Dr. Greg Alden. Now, did you uh, pick Kilimanjaro for a reason? Because I think it's been getting a lot of press about the receding uh, glacier up there, right? Yeah, you know that, that when we hike, of course, and when you work out uh, all the time, you need to keep hydrated, and mm-hmm. we'll be very conscious of that. And on Mount Kilimanjaro, the, the, because of climate change, the, the glaciers are melting. And so water on the mountain will be... 
certainly something we're thinking about and really at an elemental level because we need it to sustain ourselves through the seven days of hiking and also because of the situation of the, the glacier melt uh, decreasing every year. Now, I noticed in the profile, Daniel, that there's a, I mean, I've used pure water filters. I mean, I, I never made the connection with you guys in P&G. Um, mm -hmm. Why don't you give people a little quick an understanding of exactly what happens from the, from the time the water comes in the filter that goes through, but try and make it in, you know, rec uh, casual terms. Sure. Um, our, our filters are based on activated carbon, and, and our carbon comes from coconuts, actually, and that coconut is processed in activated carbon. Um, and, and mold it into the filter. As the water with the contaminants goes through the filter, the contaminant molecules are absorbed in, into that activated carbon, and, and what comes out the other end is, is, is clean, refreshing water. Mm -hmm. What's amazing is how much surface area there is in that small filter. It's the equivalent of about 60 tennis courts of, of surface area in, in, in one filter. Really? Now, how long do they last usually? Uh, our, our faucet filters are rated for 100 gallons, which for an average family is about three months. Mm -hmm. And similarly for the pure pitchers, uh, 40 gallons, which is about one to two months of use. I do, I do believe that they're sp uh, specified only for cold water, right? Uh, that's correct. Um, the, the filters today are, are designed to, to filter cold water. So here's a big question for you gentlemen. Who picked the stars or did they select themselves? Well, actually a, a, a musician, a Grammy-nominated musician, Kenna, uh, has, is organizing it. His father uh, was born in Ethiopia and almost died from waterborne illness. And in fact, his father's best friend did die. Mm -hmm. Ken is very dedicated to this. He's dedicating it to his dad. And based, he's based in L.A. and he knows a lot of these stars. He's been friends with Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel for a long time. Right. So even though Justin's filming a movie, he's not going to be able to join us, but he's going to help us raise awareness. And some other people like Queen Latifah are going to help us mm -hmm. spread the word. Queen is hosting the People's Choice Awards this year, right. um, and the ch our Children's Safe Drinking Water program that I found in LED will be the official charity of the People's Choice Awards. Well, it seems like they should have some of your pure water sitting on the dash, shouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll we'll talk about it on the on the People's Choice Awards for sure. Well. Um what can people do to support this? I mean, I, I noticed that we have a website, purewater.com. When they get there, how can they become active in this? Exactly, purewater.com. It's P-U-R, water.com. On there, you can follow the hike of Kilimanjaro. You can learn about our pitchers and our faucet mount and see how uh, the pure packets work. You can see water going from dirty to clear and see what a practical way it is to help people in the developing world. And you'll, you can make a donation, if you'd like, directly to Children's Safe Drinking Water. Mm -hmm. Remember that every purchase of a of a pure filter uh, results in a donation of 10 liters in the developing world. So people have been listening to this conversation. How can they, what can they do to make, to see if their water is safe for drinking and not scare themselves crazy? Sure. Um, every year your municipality should publish a, a water quality report and, and any additional questions I, I'd recommend the EPA and, and local government as, as credible sources. So you can purchase water test kits at, at home improvement and mass stores. Um, or just for general peace of mind and, and, and security for consistently clean water, we do recommend pure uh, pitchers and faucet filters. Good. Well, we always like to close our interviews with uh, what's the good news for you personally, and uh, if you both want to take a shot at that, what's your good news for this holiday season? Wow. Uh, Dan, you go first. Uh, sure. Um, I'm just uh, thankful for my family and health and, and wish all of you uh, happy holidays as well. And I'm thankful that I'm going to be hiking the highest mountain in Africa with uh, some really notable people that are going to allow us to save a lot of lives. We've been talking to Dan Hill and Dr. Greg Allgood of Procter & Gamble and purewater.com about the uh, summit for the summit. You can find out more at goodnewsbroadcast.com. This is Patrick Michaels. Until the next time.